Stem Cells, an Insider's Guide. Paul S. Nuffler is an American cell biology professor and blogger. In 2013, he was named as one of the most influential people in the stem cell field in a global poll conducted by Therapin. As the title suggests, the author gives a good account of the current stem cell research and its potentiality. He believes human beings will soon be cloned and genetically modified. Cures and therapies will be made for neurodegenerative disease, heart attacks, strokes and spinal cord injuries. Additionally, there will be a market for aesthetics like reverse balding, breast augmentation and facelifts. Life will also be substantially prolonged, probably indefinitely. The epic transformation that will be witnessed by society from stem cells will be akin to the antibiotic revolution. What is a stem cell? Stem cells are the building blocks of all living beings. A stem cell can replicate and differentiate into other cells. Stem cells keep our bodies healthy by renewing and transforming themselves. When the body is injured, stem cells at the injured location differentiate into the desired cell, which repairs the affected area. Stem cells also keep our bodies healthy by resupplying the immune system. One theory for the reason our bodies age is the decrease in the number of proliferation of stem cells as we age. If the theory is true, injecting stem cells into the body will prolong our lives. There are four types of stem cells that will elucidate. Embryonic, fetal, adult and induced pluripotent, also known as IPS. Fetal stem cells have an advantage over adult stem cells because they can proliferate at a higher rate and they grow tissue by transforming into numerous different types of cells. These stem cells, however, aren't as stable. They are known to cause cancer and grow mutant tissue. Embryonic stem cells can create organs and tissue, which will have multiple functions for research and human augmentation. If organs are to be transplanted into the body, the body will have to be subjected to immunosuppression to counteract the antibodies in the immune system so that the organs can be accepted and not rejected by the body. Fibroblast cells can revert into IPS stem cells by being reprogrammed. These IPS stem cells can be used to grow tissue for disease modeling instead of using living human beings. This modeling method can allow us for a far greater rate of scientific discovery. In general, people who look younger tend to live longer, possibly due to stem cells proliferating for longer periods of time. A process known as immunomodulation therapy uses chemicals that sustain stem cells, which in turn cause stem cells to secrete factors that are used to communicate with tissue cells that treat pathological conditions. Stem cell research is very expensive. The price of research is, however, dramatically decreasing due to the rapid rise in experiments throughout the stem cell research community. Nonetheless, frontier research is valuable because disease which can be potentially cured by stem cells cost the global community trillions of dollars. That is without factoring in the devastation these disease causes to individuals and their families. Stem cell tourism is big business. Deregulated markets for stem cells are full of overhyped services selling snake oil, especially the anti-aging services. Naturally, deregulated markets favour the people offering stem cells services rather than the patient. If someone thinks there is no other option but to avail of one of these services, the person should buy this book and read carefully the 10 steps to consider before getting a stem cell procedure. Reading the 10 steps could save you tens of thousands of dollars for your health. The New York Times published an article in 2013 by Dr. Ruben warning that the buyer beware concerning aesthetics procedures. All in all, the future promises to be very exciting if we extrapolate current trends. Chronic diseases, human augmentation including aesthetics and the possibility to reverse aging will be achieved through with stem cells. If people can live for the next decade or two, they will have a real chance to live as long as they would like. Once we master biology, we will have the ability to transcend our biological limits by merging with technology. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website www.superlativehub.com